Welcome to the Nutley Cisco Academy. And today, I'm going to be talking about the OSPF uh, link state advertisement types. So in a type 1 link state advertisement, packets are sent between the area of origin and do not leave that area. Uh, as you can see in the diagram from the arrow, packets are being sent to routers 1 and router 2, back and forth, and they don't leave the area. In a, in a, in a type 2 link state advertisement, um, packets are generated by the designated router. Um, as you can see from the diagram, packets are being sent to routers 1 and 2 from the designated router. Uh, type 3 link state advertisements are used by uh, area border routers to advertise networks from other areas. As you can see from the diagram, the arrows uh, indicate that packets are being flooded to multiple areas in the network, so the routers 2, 3, and 4. Implementing multi-area OSPF. When a large OSPF is divided, it's known as multi-area OSPF, and it has a large hierarchical design. And yeah, it's also that too. And um, yeah. So in um, OSPF v2, which is a variation of protocol, um, these OSPF v2s find adjacent networks and use hello packets to find those networks. So these hello packets are packets sent to find similar networks and rarely checks on them um, if they are still communicating with the original router. Um, how these adjacent, adjacent routers communicate is that if they share something called an L, LSA, which we covered back in slide one, and if these adjacent routers share uh, either of the three types, they will communicate with each other. OSPF route summarization. Uh, some of the benefits include a scalability, uh, improved CPU, uh, memory utilization, and the ability to mix small uh, routers with large routers. A uh, key feature of OSPF is the ability to uh, is the ability to summarize routes at area and uh, autonomous system boundaries. Also, it reduces the amount of the OSPF LSA flooding and the sizes of LSDBs and routing tables. Also, reduces the amount of the. Oh, that's it. So these are the questions. So question one: What does LSA stand for? Link state advertisement. That's correct. Question two, what does OSPF stand for? Open source password. That's correct. And question three, what the what do OSPF V2 routers periodically send out? Hello packets. That's correct. Uh, and that I believe concludes our presentation. Uh, please like and subscribe. That's it. And All right, guys, that's it.